Hey, welcome back to This Week in Victoria. I'm your host, Chris Daly. I will be joined shortly by Brother Gary Moses. We're going to talk about all the action going on in Victoria, all the exciting things going on. But first, these messages. Hey, I just want to take a second to thank you for listening to This Week in Victoria and let you know that it is a wonderful way for you to reach the Victoria and Crossroads area if you have a business. It is a great reach. It is a fraction of the cost of traditional marketing. And it's a much bigger audience, a much more engaged audience. Reach out to myself or Brother Gary if you want to get in front of the Crossroads audience. Have you ever thought about doing your own podcast? It is the absolute best way to grow your brand, spread your message, and build your following. Fresh Media Works can help. We do all the heavy lifting, and you just focus on your message. To find out how easy we can make launching your new podcast, call 713-269-4620 or check us out at freshmediaworks.com. All right, everybody, join me in welcoming Brother Gary Moses to the show. Brother Gary, how are things? I'm doing fine, Chris. Good to be with you. Yeah. And uh, as we get closer to uh, Easter, it's been a fast run, hasn't it? It has, it has. And, and I have to tell you, um, this last weekend, um, I put together a chicken coop. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> took three days to put that thing together, but uh, we're going to have eggs soon. <laughs> <laughs> Back in our day as a kid, Dad would get us some of the small chicks. Yeah. As small kids, we it's oh boy, that was great to have those chicks running around yeah. there, you know it. And uh, we colored the eggs. Did you color dye oh, yeah. eggs? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did that. And our kids love that too. Yeah, never forget that. Yeah, we'll never forget that. It's good stuff. Easter, of course. Well, you can tell I got some sun <laughs> this past week because there's been all outdoor activities: the Kiwanis bike ride. Yeah. Little League opening ceremonies. Uh, we had the Jaguars, uh, the homecoming and uh, alumni uh, games. And I threw out first pitch. I actually, I did the girls softball and I got that baby there in I good love form. It. Man. I love it. I did good. <laughs> so I've been out in the sun and enjoyed a lot of stuff. Easter egg hunts and all that stuff. Well, Chris, uh, I know you've been busy too. Oh yeah, you know it. So what you're saying is if, if the girls softball team needs a relief pitcher, you're their man. I won't be able to pass for that. <laughs> That's right. They won't let me on the field. Right. I got lucky is what I did. <laughs> Actually, I threw a few warm-ups. Oh, okay. I asked uh, the coach, sure, Mr. Moses, go ahead. So a couple of warm-ups. I did okay. Nice. Nice. I know you did. You always yes, did. sir. Well, thank you, sir. I know you do well, too. <laughs> Hacky sack man right here. That's what I call him, Hacky sack man. Well, Chris, we got a still kind of a busy weekend yeah. yet to go. Nice. You ready? Good weather, too. All right. Yeah. Throw in whenever you got something. Of course. We got some stuff. But Thursday, we have a new exhibit at the Nave Museum. Two artists, and uh, it's going to be really, really good. I just know. Haven't got all the details yet, but it's coming up. And so if you want to go to the Nave uh, this uh, week, uh, weekend, uh, to check it out, they're open with a new exhibit. So check it out. All right. We move into Friday. Uh, Fish fries. Four of them. Wow. For Friday. <laughs> All right. First one's Victoria Masonic Lodge. You know where that is by Pizza Hut? Yes. Yeah. Uh, they're having their fish fry fundraiser. Uh, and that's going to be from 5 to 7 o'clock. And it's for the VST Scholarship Fund. Nice. It's good stuff there. Second fish fry is uh, in Placido, their volunteer fire department. Fish fry. Uh, that's going to be from 11 to 2. And uh, they're going to have a dance that evening in the uh, garage of the uh, fi volunteer fire department. But it's a fundraiser. They need the bucks, and they have good fish out there, too. Third one. I just put them in no particular yeah. order. St. Peter's Baptist Church will have a fish fry. 2708 South Laurent. You know where that is. Going to Bloomington. Right, Cameron, going right. to Bloomington Highway. From 11 to 2, Reverend uh, Kevin Van Hook used to be on the school board. They'll have a great meal over there fourth one for Friday. <laughs> CWV uh, will have their, Catholic War Veterans will have their fish fry. CWV Hall uh, starting at 11 o'clock and it's a fundraiser for their charities. If you can't find enough fish you're not looking. That's right. <laughs> we are flip fish rich. Fish, fish rich. I like that, <laughs> sir. Hey folks, I want to tell you about something really cool that's coming up. It's called the Business Success 
challenge. Actually, it's a series of challenges where myself and Gail Stolzenberg are going to talk with you about several business-related topics. We're going to talk about networking, the right way to network. We're going to talk about AI in business. We're also going to talk about podcasting. We're going to talk about business psychology, so many great things that we're going to cover in these business success challenges. The best part, they're absolutely free, no cost whatsoever. But you do need to sign up to get on the mailing list so you can find out when they are happening. Go to freshmediaworks.com slash success challenge. Get your email in there. Don't miss out on this great series of free business success challenges. So, yes, sir. And I'm sure the library's still open at this point, I think. I know school's out mm -hmm. on Friday and Monday, Good Friday and Easter Monday. Right. School is out for most everywhere. Uh, anything you want to throw in at this no, point? No, that's good. I got to okay. figure out which fish fry you know, to, to go to. You got choices. Yeah, can't eat four times. <laughs> I can't buy it. If I buy two in every place, I'll have it for a month. <laughs> exactly. right. Just two in every place. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's that's a good uh, a Friday there. And uh, on Saturday, uh, and I've done some Easter egg hunts, a few of them. We have another one. 361 Hood News is having their Easter egg hunt uh, from 12 to 4 down to Victoria Youth Sports Complex. Uh, they're going to be over there by the splash pad. Mm -hmm. Over there. They're going to have the Easter Bunny, concessions, food, drinks, and several Easter egg hunts. It's good people putting it on. One of my former students is doing it. Nice. He wanted to give back to the community. And then, Chris, if you want the, the one that's going to be where most parents will go, and they can do both. Mm -hmm. Texas Zoo has their annual Easter egg hunt. Nice. They're from 10 to 3. They'll have crafts, games animal encounters you get to get up close and curse uh, and personal they're they're not hiding the easter eggs in with the animals are they better not <laughs> just say be you talk about there. up close right. and personal <laughs> the animal encounters will be uh, they're holding that animal right there <laughs> and they have programs over there you can take part in boots and more yeah the zoo's always a great place oh, to it go is. if you got kids grandkids yeah great place to take them uh and then floricitas She's over there on 3706 Lone Tree Road, a little business, mm -hmm. and she always sends her stuff to me, and they're having an Easter egg hunt and an event, and uh, it's from 12 to 6. They'll have booths and food and fun for the kids. 3 o'clock will be the hunt. Nice, nice. All right, and Sunday, brother, that is Easter Sunday. Yeah. Uh, any plans for you that day? Uh, go to church. I'm going to church, too. <laughs> we got that and probably breakfast. I'll have breakfast yeah. at the church. Uh, right after that, so we'll do that. But there is one event, Our Lady of Saul's Church at their Trinity Hall. They have their Easter Sunday meal. It's free uh, for those that come, bring the kids or whatever. Easter Sunday meal starts at 11, right after that Easter egg hunt, right nice. there on the grounds. So Friday is fish rich, Sunday is egg rich. <laughs> egg rich. Right on, sir. Boy, you're doing your homework in a short amount of time here. Doing good. I'm just a smart Alex. Yeah. <laughs> I can't just say I'm smart, so I'd be an Alex. I'd have to be an Alex too. Right? Uh, well, try this one now. This is Easter Monday. Yeah. We have a, an event, a fundraiser for adopt a pet. It's no nice. fooling. It's April first, but no fooling. All right. Dining with your dog. Nice. That's going to be at the pump house. You know they're closed on Mondays. Okay. So we have the back patio. Take the dogs back there. It's a benefit for adopt a pet. It's from six to eight. It's fifty dollars, and you get. I think the dog gets a three course meal, and so the uh, parent gets a three nice. course meal. They always fill it up. We should have a good crowd. I heard uh, earlier in the week uh, we had about thirty something already registered for nice. them. That'll be nice. It'll be a nice crowd for adopt a pet. So, uh, want to mention that uh, and a good one there. Now uh, Monday, starting Monday, April the first, and it's all month long. It's Child Abuse Prevention Month. Mm -hmm. And it's wearing different colors and different uh, events. I'm going to be doing several things uh, with them. Uh, so a good one to recognize and remember. Child Abuse Prevention Month. Right. Every month should be that. But they're signifying it in the month of uh, April. So I'm looking down there. And there's all kind of stuff going on. We're going to be busy. Anything else you want to add, Chris? Because I know April is 
really it's loaded. Right. Warriors weekend, the muster on that's April. That's true. That's true. The sixth, bicentennial, and the uh, coffee and concepts. That's that Wednesday. So coming up, the yeah, up it's coming the first Wednesday. and third Wednesday. Okay, we'll do that. So, we'll see uh, yeah. the good folks over there. I love yeah. seeing you in the morning. Yeah. And getting a little coffee and then heading over to the there you go. Uh, next stop. And you're always doing it right there. So do we have anything else you want to mention for next week? Not that I Fireside can Fireside chat won't be till the following Correct. week. Correct. Uh, so we're just kind of, oh, man, it's going to be so much, so much stuff. It, it always is, but it's fun. Yes, it is. It is. And, and I'm looking forward to it, too. April is really big, ladies and gentlemen. If you think we got some sun in March, we are going to get more sun <laughs> get some in more. April. All the little league. I mean, there's so much going on. It's good stuff. Chris, always a pleasure. You too. And thank our sponsors. We appreciate Amen. them. Thank all of you out there for uh, listening in. And thank you, Chris, for putting it on, buddy. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Gosh, I want to thank everybody that played a role in this show. All the great interviews. Of course, Brother Gary Moses could not be possible without him. And, of course, the sponsors who made this show possible. Please go out and support those nonprofits. Go out and support your local artists. Go out and support these businesses that help share This Week in Victoria. Until next time, for This Week in Victoria, for Brother Gary Moses and myself, enjoy This Week in Victoria. And hey, keep it real.